Hey everybody, this is Glider Cap, and it's time to play. We are back in Astro Colony, and we are really starting to move along here. Last episode, we were working on our Asteroid Catcher Array, and I kind of showed you what my plans were with the power situation. So I've started to implement that. We can take a look here. We've got these kind of... Let's see, let me get out of that so we can see this a little clearer. We've got some support poles, and then a platform here that is holding a bunch of solar panels. Now these solar panels don't produce much power. It's just like one unit of power each, but we've got quite a few on here. I think it's 22 per side and so 44 total. That's that one. Then we have them capped off at the end and then the power is being routed right here at the kind of towards this end of the platform. We have power that is linking all of these solar panels together. And then also a cable that runs straight down and brings power to the next lowest level down. And we'll get to that. That's a lot different. We're going to see that in a second. So I've got them set up. I haven't uh, built enough solar panels to fill them all. I've got two of them done and I've got two more to do. They take gold wire. We've got gold wire. Actually, I could do some more right now if we want to, but um, got plenty but we don't really need it. If we look at the network, we're, let's see. Oh, well maybe, let's see. We're, cons we have, we're consuming 75 units of power and we can produce 88. Maybe we will put some more down. Let's do it. It's pretty darn easy. Grab solar panels. Just drag these across. I've got the gold wire to do it. Boom. I don't know if I have the gold wire to do all of them, but we can do quite a few. Boom. Uh, let's do this one first, just in case we run out. Yeah, we're going to run out. Boom. All right, so we'll get more power too. Let's just see how it's looking now. Now we're at 75 over 132, so we're using just over half the power we have available. That's what's going on there. This probably is not going to change much. We, I didn't really do anything with the belts. We haven't, you can see the belts are not moving. Everything's kind of stuck. We've got smeltable ores coming on one belt and making their way down to the next lowest level. And then we have the ice and the carbon. And I haven't even put those, I haven't routed those anywhere really. Just a dead end right there. If we go down a level here, here's the new little ramp system bringing all these smeltable ores down. I take out all of our old carbon power generators. We may do a new floor of those if we need it. We'll see how far we can get with the, with the solar panels. But on this floor, what I want to do instead of what we were doing is I want to smelt these basic ores that we're getting from asteroids. I'm working, I'm working under the assumption that we're only going to get copper, iron, and gold. So I'm envisioning three lines of, um, of smelters here that then feed into some kind of storage units or something. And then we'll decide how we'll use those smelted, uh, ingots later. If we route those to a different floor to be turned into wire or whatever, that's my plan. Process this asteroid ore this episode, then we need to kind of keep in mind we're also going to be able to get those same three ores from the planetoids here. So if I get out of the build mode and do my C key, you can kind of see if you look quick, we've got aluminum in there. We've got uh, uranium in there. Let's see, do you look one more time? Titanium, uranium, and I see aluminum. There may be others I'm just not picking up. So we're going to have more than those first three ores, more than the iron, copper, and gold. What we might want to do or be thinking about is say over here, like over here, when we get to routing the ore from the planet onto our platform here, onto our station, we've got the ability to set these lines. So if I say um, line one out, or let's change line one to in. That's going to allow me to bring ore in through this tunnel. 
or whatever we're mining, or it could be rock, it could be dirt, it could be who knows what. We may want to think of how do we want to pull out the iron, the copper, and the gold from whatever this stream of ore is and get that routed all the way back here to the same smelting area. We'll worry about the aluminum and titanium and, and uh, uranium later, but we're probably going to want to be able to run a belt from our docking area down through here and feed these same smelters. So keep that in the back of your mind. I think what we're going to use are the pusher logistic blocks. Uh, is that number three? Yeah, pusher. And then push onto into our three different lines. What I'm nervous about is where to position these things. Let's uh let's see so that it's scalable. I, and I don't have a good feel for how much scale we're gonna have coming through here either. So it may not may not turn out to be perfect but it's going to get us by for a good long time, I think. Okay, let me find my melter buddies. Where are you? Okay, right here. This guy is a smelter. It's four by three. We got two inputs, which we I don't think we need for our purposes down here. What about, about what about, what about? Hmm. <laughs> Trying to figure out how we're going to actually push these things down. I'll show you kind of what's going on in my head here. I'm envisioning, let's put another belt down. Hey, we have some belt running here. I'm envisioning a pusher, like three pushers, actually. Let's do it. Something like, uh, let's do one, two, three. Actually, maybe I don't even need that third one. I don't think I do. Assuming we only have three ores coming down here. Hopefully that's a safe assumption. Pull this off. Let's go back to belts. I guess these could run right next to each other. Let's set a filter on this. Uh, let's do... Gold is probably the least likely to clog us up. Oops, I need oxygen. Let me grab some before I die. Okay, let's take a look here and see if we can tell what's the most. A lot of copper. I think it is copper. Well, that one's got more iron. More copper, more iron, more copper, more copper, more copper, more iron. Let's assume copper and iron are roughly going to be this found at the same amounts and that gold is the least, the least likely to clog the line. That's the case. Let's do, let's make this filter off gold. I think that's gold. Man, I need a tool to, I'm pretty sure that's gold. Uh, color blind. Oh, cool. I can see there. And then let's make this one copper. I can't tell which one's copper. Uh, I'm going to guess it's that one. Yep. And then what should continue on here would be the iron. So belts. This way. And then let's grab a smelter and see where we would place it. Uh, actually, while I'm on belts, let me do one more belt. I'm just trying to get the spacing down here. That's why I'm taking a couple minutes. Oops. Bear with me. 
with me. I guess we can run these next to each other. It's not going to be an issue. All right. Cute. I'm going to pick up this ore. And what do we have here? Those look like they're probably iron, right? Melter. Let's do here. And let's leave some extra space. And grab that guy out of there. Grab this guy. And maybe put a splitter here. Boom. Back to belts. This first one's going to go slow just because I'm trying to lay it out. You keep going. Power's going to want to be there. That's fine. We'll figure that out. Another smelter. We'll go two each, maybe. And give them a little space. They don't need a bunch of space in between. Belt going in. Belt going in. Need a splitter here. We don't even need a splitter. Um, I'm going to do it just to keep the pattern. Boom. I'll put belts. Hey, you, you. And down we go. And then storage or something, maybe? Edge. Just not sure how we're going to scale. I can put storage here or I can put it way at the end and then we can add more smelters as we need to. Probably overthinking it as I usually do. Um, I'm going to put it right there. You, let's, uh, we'll take this up a little bit. I'm going to leave one little stretch there to show that we're doing it for scalability. Boom, boom. Power. Power, power, power. Hmm. Thinking about two things right now with regards to power. One is I want to power these machines. And the second thing is I need to run power from this height down through to the next floor, right? We'll probably have another floor down here. Or we'll want to power these things from below, right? We want to get... Oh, hold on. Wrong key. I hit the uh, X key, so that turned off my jetpack. I was falling towards a black hole down there that's got gravity, apparently. Yeah, we don't want to... We want to run this power from underneath. Where makes sense? It feels like it should be in the center, right? So 27 is what? 13... Divided by two, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, and then there is where we should be running our power down through if we want to go in the middle. Uh, let's try to do that. This will make sense as I do it. Um, I need to put one there just so I have something to clip onto. Two. Down here is where we want to actually route our power for these smelters. So let's clear out these blocks so we can just see where we're going with the power. I can put these little nuggets on. They are willing to stay there. Come on, you can do it. You can do it. Down below. Two. You and maybe these come across. 
going up to something that's going to run down this way. That'll be like the main trunk for this floor. Boom, back up. Let's replace those floor tiles for this first row. Doink and doink. And I think, do we, I guess it doesn't matter. Iron bars are set to infinity. I guess we could turn off everything else. In theory, this line is only meant to do iron. Uh, what am I missing here? Belt? Belt? Under my logic block. Let's do it. Okay. And what's going on over here? Uh, I've got a little bit of ore in the way. Let's see if I can I clear that out. Without taking off my logic block, doesn't look like it. You're gonna push gold. You're gonna push copper. These out. Bam. Okay, those are the indicators. Hmm. There is potential for backup, right? I don't think we're gonna run into problems, but we'll see. Let's do, let's keep moving. Two more smelters. Did I put this too far back? I did. These have to shift down a little bit. I want them all lined up. We're gonna have three rows, but as these belts kind of move off to the left, that's gonna affect what we can do here. Hmm. Yeah, I think those need to move. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Um, can't use, if I go here, I can't use a splitter at the first input port, because that's going to be a problem. I could always use the second input port, and that would save me a little bit of space. A little hokey. Man. About that. Okay, I'm going to experiment. Oops. Don't want it to be real crowded. I don't like compact factories. I know a lot of people love them. Nummy. So, belts. Belt going like that. Ooh, am I out of material? I need plates. We've got some. I probably need some oxygen too. Let's grab some of that. Plates, I got a bunch in here. Bunch more of these gone. I know there's an easier way to do this, right? But for now, I'm just gonna do that. Let's go down. I grab the plates. Boom. Right, that would be our copper line going through. And do I have enough room reasonably to do the other line? I know I'm wasting a bunch of space. Uh, we've got lots of room on the station. Man. A lot of wasted space, though. <laughs> I don't mind a little, but I've got a lot. I've got a lot. I could just move these over one and have them dump onto the belt. I don't think they need to have this extra space. I do kind of like the way that looks. This would be a belt here. I like having a space between things. So I envisioned a belt coming out of here and a, our output belt going down that way. And then we'd have to have our output belt going here. And so this input's going to get pushed. Uh, let's try it. Let's try it. We can make this work. And it's not a life lifelong decision here. We can always rework this later. This will meet our needs. One more. 
platoon. And I'll line these guys up better. Okay. I take one of these belts out just to kill the flow of material. We want our pusher here, our gold pusher here. Where are you? No. Be our output belt here. Try and line that one up. These we know are going to have to come up, unfortunately. That's going to have to come up, and that's going to have to come up. And our power is going to be different. It's going to be different. Yeah, this is definitely taking up more room than I thought it would. And it's, I know it's the nature of my design. Uh, off by one. Boom. This will do it. All right, output belt here. There and there. How about you guys? Sure. Bring up these three that aren't needed. Uh, add the input belt. We'll just do the first input. I'm going to purposely run this one further than I need to, just to remind myself. What am I missing? Is there a belt there already? There is. I want the first input on the... Make this look consistent at least. That one's got a belt. Output belt. Not run this output yet. Let's do it. He's up. Storage. Okay, splitters. There's lots of ways to do this. This is not, you know, optional or optimal, but this is kind of the aesthetic that I'm going for. Okay, let's, oops. Let's see where I'm failing. Is it a belt missing? What's going on here, fellas? Um, power. Okay, we're backed up. Let's do the power. Boom. Give me a place to drop through. I don't know that I can. I drop through that little square. <laughs> Doesn't look like it. That's one maybe not so great thing about the stack design is it's going to be hard moving up and down. We're going to have to keep... Walking out to the side of the layer. Maybe we could, or yeah, maybe we can find a place where we have holes going all the way through up and down that we can uh, use to traverse. All right. Power lines. Are you going to clip on for me? Probably not, huh? I thought you would. I thought it might do it for me. It doesn't look like it's going to. Um, okay, we'll connect it up top. That. This is our main trunk. I think we want to keep that going straight down the middle. You. You. That's an 
extra ugliness here we can take out. And let's go up top. Make these up. Boom. Boom. This is meant to be gold, so we can uh, leave gold on and shut everything else off. This is meant to be copper. These are meant to be iron. Now what's our story? Belt is turned the wrong way. Thing there. I don't know how I did that, but I did it. All right, here comes our ore. Boy, it looks like we got a whole bunch of the same kind of ore all of a sudden. We are going to get better belts later. How's my oxygen? Not great. Let me go up, grab some more oxygen. Oh man, that took more time than I thought. But I'm liking how things are shaping up. We're going to move all these machines off and all that wire is going to come out of here. Okay, lots of copper being produced. These guys are going to have no problem keeping up this slow belt. Um, let's look at the tech tree real quick. Did make some more engineering science between episodes. We've got 240. Where I'm looking for upgraded belts just out of curiosity. Transport tubes. I wonder if those are faster. Advanced logistics. Conveyor belt pro. That's what I'm looking for. But first we got to get people so we can do this um, chemistry science and this biology science. I don't think we can do either one of those until we get people. Speaking of which, that's what this whole platform is over here, by the way. I've been building out. This is going to be where our people stuff laboratories, farms, whatever else we, we need to build for people. That's uh, what's going to happen there. We saw some of that stuff here in yeah, laboratory. What was the other thing we saw? Kitchen. Not sure what the other stuff is the people's schools. That's hibernation chambers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. study points, all that kind of stuff. That's going to be this whole column, maybe up and down. And then we can scatter some solar panels where it makes sense, just like we did here. And then we'll see how, much, how long we can get by on solar. All right, let's see. Are we working? Here comes a bunch of iron all of a sudden. Gold's going to be few and far between. Now we're smelting things in an automated way. Uh, we can probably ditch this smelter here. Uh, let me empty everything that's in it. Boom, boom. Hmm. Maybe I'll leave it. It has been handy for making iron rods. But let's, let's look at our inventory. I've got 186 iron rods. These are used. I've been using these. I think the pillars need those. Uh, five. Yeah. Maybe I will leave that there for now. We're going to have another floor, probably underneath this one, manufacturing floor, or we could, you know, spread out this direction. Or we could spread out this direction for manufacturing too. I've actually started to push this out. Let's see how many 499 iron plates. Let's, uh, let's fill this area in. And then I think next episode. Let's, um, let's think about the people stuff. Uh, almost have enough. Not quite. And that's the end of all those. See how our crafting station's doing over here. One making our things. What's this guy called? Constructor. And let's, I think if I just split this stack, throw this in here. Look at us more iron plates. There we go. We've got a bunch there too. There's some gold plates. I'm using that. The gold plates are needed for wire. 
That is made in this manufacturer, so I'll push my gold plates in there. Boom. And I got some extra ore for it to get automatically filtered. I can just dump it in one of these things. So that's what I'm going to do. Uh, I'll hold on to the coal. And we got a button here to merge all of the items. If I need to think there's two stacks of the same thing, that'll sort that issue. So how are we doing? How are we doing? I've got some extra thing here I don't no longer need. Let's get rid of that. That works. <laughs> that works. It's a lot of wasted space. A lot of wasted space. Seems like I could have come back at least one, two, right? One, one would have been easily. I could have come back at least one. Maybe I will later at some point. But now we're getting a storage of iron, storage of copper, and probably hardly any gold. Yep. Yep, yep, yep. And it's all automated from the asteroid catchers. Asteroid catchers have a ton of power hooked up. Let's see. Do I have any more solar panel stuff? I've only got three golden wires, so we're going to have to wait. Wait on that. I'll make some more gold plates. Boom. Tons of copper plates. This guy has a little bit of golden wire for us. We can make a few more solar panels here. Let's do it. Most of this gold is coming from the asteroids. I tried between episodes to put a miner on a gold deposit and it would not mine the gold. So let's take a look at that real quick. It, does it tell us what our basic mining drill is going to be able to handle? Uh, it doesn't. Does it tell us in here what the options are? No. I'll show you. We can try and find a gold deposit. Uh, in fact, there's one up here, I think. Is this gold? It is. Show you. Maybe I'm doing something wrong here. That's also gold. Let's chip away at this. Gold as well. Let's um, actually build a platform here. Uh, where will you grab onto? That's okay. Okay, I'm going to regret building all those solar panels because now I need gold to build solar panels. Uh, what's going on here, guys? Straighten that up a bit. Um, this mining drill, are you doing anything? I think he's done. Doesn't it's gonna need to be recycled? Oh, yeah. All this is gonna need to come up. I think. Uh, we'll leave it just in case we can put another mining drill around. We'll, I'll leave that. Put a new one up. Oh, might not take. Uh, I'm missing something. Missing. What am I missing? Happy there, it's not happy there. Ew. Need more more of this, apparently. Huh. Looks fine. It looks like a big platform, but the lines are all off. Hmm. Oh no, I see what's happening. This platform. Nope, not that. Okay, it's just like giving me see-through on the terrain for some reason. But we've got a flat platform here. Now let's see why the mining drill. Maybe it needs to be higher up by one. Might be. But that's it. Okay, let's do it. Do it. Yeah, 
if I can get some gold wire. I don't think I have any on me, right? I have two. That's not enough for solar panels. We might have a little. No such luck. Uh, gold. Gold here. That'll make wire for us. Do I have anything in the recycler? Nothing useful, but we'll take it. Uh, I got stuff to put in. Boom. And stuff to take out. There's all our old carbon reactors that I got rid of. We need, what do we need? One more wire, I think. And then we could do three solar panels. And then we'll see if this, uh, if this mining drill will do gold. I couldn't get it to work last time I tried. So let's try it. Um, how about bear with me here? Now it's working fine. Yeah, I'm not sure. I'm not lying, I promise. That was not working for me a little while ago. So we're mining a little bit of gold and do we have, can we finish this floor? We got a little bit left. Let's see if we've got the plates that we need over here. Oxygen. I need to grab two. Boom. We're probably good. We'll stack all that. Promise someday we'll have an oxygen bubble. Maybe it'll be right in the middle here. Down over here is where we want to fill in this area. So our next place we're going to start building. Boom. Not bad. Check it out. Starting to get a little organized. Still got a mess here on our main platform. And we need to um, actually get serious about mining and coming up with a good strategy here. I was kind of hoping to use the um, improved mining equipment here. We're advanced mining, but again, we need to get this uh, chemistry science going. So we'll detour next episode from factory building and we'll try to get a laboratory put down and whatever it takes for people. I think there's um, some stuff that we have unlocked. We haven't done the robotics. Manufacturer we do have. We don't have our base warehouse. That might make sense at some point to use. I'm sure it will. I just don't know when. Thrusters, oxygen barrier. Yeah, we got to do that. What am I missing? What am I missing? I'm looking for the human being stuff. I guess we didn't unlock that yet. We've got hydration, a canteen, building, dining stand. No, hydrotonic. We've got all astronauts for human migration and then hibernation chambers. But yeah, that's what this is all going to be about. In fact, depending on how many people we have, we could extend out towards, towards us where we're floating and beyond us where we're floating and have that whole three big tiles and two tiles high just be civilization kind of stuff. And then, like I said, have this area be kind of more manufacturing all the way across. We'll see in episodes to come. I should mention I'm recording this episode after right when episode four posted. So if you've posted comments since episode four, I apologize. I haven't seen them yet. I'm recording several episodes in advance this time, mainly because I'm having a hard time putting the game, <laughs> putting the game down. Um, I do the homework in between episodes here that I would normally need to do here, building out these platforms. And then I want to go build the next thing and kind of, kind of show you what I'm doing. I don't want to do a bunch of stuff off camera, but we're doing pretty good, man. I really like how this is turning out. I like it. I like it. And I don't think we need more. I don't, I don't think we need more of these asteroid catchers. We've got 12. That's plenty. We're bringing in tons of ore. In fact, those belts are going to run. We still need to figure carbon and ice. At some point, I don't think it's urgent. These guys have quite a bit of storage. I can empty it if I want. Um, we'll see if uh, 
if our little, if our slow belt, right? We've got one belt, basically. That could be the weakness of this design. We've got one single belt that's carrying all of the ore collected from 12 asteroid catchers. That could prove to be a big, 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 big bottleneck. We'll just see. I know there was a bunch of stuff kind of backed up in here. So maybe, maybe it'll catch up. I'm going to let it run and we'll just kind of monitor the levels. But you can see we've got all lines running. Uh, what's going on over at this guy? Oh, did I not? I didn't patch the floors. Let's do that real quick. Boom. Boom. It almost looks better with them open, to tell you the truth, but we'll close them. And let's just double check what's going on with you. Do I have some kind of incorrect ore on here? That says push gold. Can't totally tell what kind of ore I'm looking at. Um, Grab it and see. Uh, let me look. Uh, that looks like gold, right? I don't have any other ore. Why are you not doing the things you want to do? Consumption three, we got plenty of power. We're only using 70% of the network. We're set to do gold. Uh, what if I now matter backwards? Or are you set to only take a certain input? No problems over here. Those guys are doing fine. What am I missing? Something obvious. Unless that's just not gold. Oh, the belt again is a uh, wrong orientation. My bad. I'll double check them all real quick. Yep. Yep. Those are good. Yep. Yep. And make sure nothing's backing up in here. Yep. Those are emptying out. Those are. Yep. So the output belts must be good. Okay. That's kicking on. The gold is kicking on. There's so few. In fact, I can put a bunch in here to process. Have at it, fellas. But yeah, we'll see if these belt, if this belt becomes a huge bottleneck. We've got a way around it. We could bring down another spiraling belt, push these over, and just feed the second three with their own belt and their own little filter system. And maybe at that point, I would do it quite a bit more compact than I have. I could actually make this look a little nicer by doing it here. Let's do that real quick. I don't want to stop playing, apparently. Probably actually looks a little better now that we've got all this space here. Not bad. Not bad. We've got some automation here. Automated harvesting of asteroids and automated smelting. Lots more to do. And we've hidden the wires and we're using solar power. Not bad. Enough of my babbling. For now, this is Glattercat saying thanks so much for watching. Hope you're enjoying this series on Astro Colony. Very, very cool game. It just released on November 7th, 2022. I'm having a blast playing this. I hope you're enjoying it too. If you like this kind of game and you like what you're seeing here, highly recommend this game. We have a lot more to discover in the game, but man, so far, pretty flawless. I haven't experienced any bugs or anything. But yeah, that's enough of my babbling. Thank you, patrons and channel members. Thank you, those that have been giving the videos a thumbs up, and I'll see you all in the next episode.